Okay, so today we're going to create the in crop slideshow like that in Filmora 11. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so the first thing, in order to uh, create this slideshow, you need some overlays. So first thing, we have some overlay here, and uh, to be honest, I don't remember where I download them. Okay, so I have on my e drives. Uh, I have on my SSD or all the the overlay here, including InCrop and Lilac or stuff like that. By the way, you can download them at the link in the description. I will put them in the description for you to download it from my Google Drive. Okay, just download them to your computer, and we can start editing video. And of course, you will all you will also need some image. Actually, these are the image of me and my friends. It was last Saturday. Okay, so we have a reunion and all of them, uh, all of us are 40 and we are old. By the way, the, the camera is so good that we look like 20 years out of that. Okay, and here is Fimura and this is my example project. So let's make it bigger and also I will delete everything on the timeline. First, to just to show you step by step on how to create this effect in the program. Okay, unlock everything, and then I'm going to delete everything. So the very first thing I want to set a zoom in and zoom out for my image first. So what I'm going to do is to select file and then go to reference, references, and then select editing. And now at the photo duration, I want to change it to five seconds, but you want to change it to six seconds or or seven seconds it's up to you okay and the next thing at the photo placement you want to select pan and zoom so it has a pan and zoom effect for your photo okay just make sure to do that at the reference tab and then you can click OK and the next thing you want to bring all the, the image onto the timeline so we're going to select one two three five and maybe six is okay just drag and drop them onto the timeline Okay, so we have just created our first effect with the zoom in and zoom out effect for our image. And here, let's play it. Very nice, right? And the next thing, I want to add transition between clip, but I want to use only one transition effect. So what I'm going to do is to select everything on the timeline, so all the image, and go to the transition. And now I'm going to select recommended folder. And then select this one, the dissolve transition. So I'm going to right click and select apply. So we will apply a transition effect to all the selected clip on the timeline. Okay, so we have something will look like this. Okay, and the next thing we want to put the overlay on the top track right here. So let's go back to our media and we mentioned that I import some overlay here. For example, we can use this one, the first one, just right and drop it right here. And then we want to we want to slow it down so that it match with the image on the timeline. To slow down the clip here, I'm going to press and hold my control key. And then I'm going to click and then just extend it like this. So this is the first overlay. Okay, and now we want to get rid of the black. All we need to do is to double click at the overlay here, just double click and select compositing okay at the compositing option and now you will want to select the blending mode to screen okay so just select here and screen and that is the first effect okay and let's click okay very nice right and now you can use other overlay just put it on the top track right here and do the same thing by the way i'm a i'm a lazy editor so i just want to duplicate this one okay so i'm going to put my playhead at the end just press shift and end on your keyboard to put the playhead at the end of the overlay and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate them duplicate this one ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d okay so that's finished with the in drop overlay okay so let's play it Very nice, right? And if you want, you can add the this whole transition effect between the overlay also. To do that, you can do the same. Just go to transition and then right click, apply, and now it will be added to the overlay on the timeline. So this is the first one. And in Filmora 11.7, there are some interesting bubble effect. You want to add them to 
to this slideshow, you need to go to the effect tab and select what's new and now select this free option okay and i add this one bubble floating just drag and drop it at the top track right here and then you want to extend the duration of the effect to the end okay so it is very nice wait for it okay it is very nice by the way i can see that the opacity of the effect is too too high so i'm going to reduce it to do that all i need to do is to double double click at the effect here and reduce the opacity all right and let's click okay all right so that is how to create in crop slideshow effect in Fimura 11. i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video don't forget to download the overlay at the description first before trying to create this effect okay Goodbye and see you again.